I would like to ask Maria Marino of Brayman Motor Cars to present the next award of the evening, the 2015 Nonprofit of the Year Award. Good evening. My name is Maria Marino, and I have the lucky job of giving away money for Brayman Motor Cars. It's very philanthropic. I love doing it. And so when Beth said to me, which award would you like to present, I figured the one that had to do with philanthropy. So, I am here to present the Nonprofit of the Year Award, which is given to an organization whose strategic vision, passion, and perseverance has led to extraordinary outcomes for the community it serves. Recipients of this award generally utilize new approaches in overcoming obstacles to achieve its mission. This recipient of the 2015 Nonprofit of the Year Award is El Sol, Jupiter's Neighborhood Resource Center. El Sol was founded in 2006 as the solution to the unsafe and undesirable working conditions of immigrant workers following the two, uh, 2004 and 2005 hurricanes. El Sol was established as a private, nonprofit day labor hiring center and has since grown into so much more. In addition, they now offer English and literacy classes, vocational and computer training, health care and safety education, a daily hot meal, an organic community garden, and so much more. El Sol has become a thriving neighborhood center building bridges among different ethnic, religious and cultural groups and a vital service available to all low-income Jupiter residents. And now, please watch the video. El Sol is the miracle of Jupiter. We like to refer to it as El Miraglo in Spanish. Eight years ago, there were problems all over Jupiter with immigrants sitting out on the street corners and particularly on Center Street when the economic recession hit. Because of great leadership from the town of Jupiter, the local community, the local religious organizations, El Sol was founded and we now provide a day labor center, education programs, social programs, and we have been able to resolve that problem to where El Sol is probably the number one nonprofit in America for dealing with a community problem involving immigrants from Central and South America. Uh, it has really been a journey to be here at El Sol and see an entire community transform. Uh, one from an open air labor market, disorganized, where there were a lot of tensions, intercultural tensions, into one in which people can come together to work on a common goal. Uh, there is positive feelings all around and we are truly honored to be recognized by the business community and the Northern Palm Beach Chamber of Commerce as the Nonprofit of the Year. Thank you so much. <laughs> 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 I like here in El Sol because it's much better. You have the school, like English class. Never, never done English in Guatemala. So if I needed to find a job, and I need it. El Sol, it did a lot of things for me, like uh, find me jobs and uh, health care and uh, a lot of good things. And um, I appreciate what people put in heart to put us all here in Jupiter.
be because before I was standing in a corner, I was hot outside and that's a lot of problem. So here it's m much comfortable. So I think uh, thank you for God, thank you for people uh, think about us. So for me, it's, uh, it's incredible, nice. El Sol started out as merely a response to um, a day laborer issue that the town had. And what's, what's amazing is how it's grown into what you see here today. Today it has truly grown into the El Sol Resource Center and offering so much for those who come through its doors. I want to offer my congratulations and the congratulations of the entire town of Jupiter to El Sol for receiving the award of Nonprofit of the Year. We're very proud that last year the White House recognized El Sol as one of the 10 most advanced 501c3s in America. And we're very proud that Northern Palm Beach County's Chamber of Commerce has done likewise. Welcome El Sol's Executive Director, Jocelyn Skolnick. We are so excited. <laughs> this is really incredible for us to receive this recognition from the Northern Palm Beach Chamber of Commerce. Uh, El Sol was established, established eight years ago to improve the quality of life of everybody in the town of Jupiter, particularly day laborers and their families. And every day since we opened, we really strive to make to change lives, to make a big difference. And with me tonight to accept this award is an incredible, uh, one of our success stories. Uh, someone who came from Guatemala without having any formal education. And he'll share a little bit of his story with you. But as we, as we were in our car on our way down here, he shared with us that he had just gotten a 9.8 in the math part of the GED. Um, <laughs> Through El Sol, he has been able to learn how to read and write, graduate from elementary school, and I was seeking to get his GED, all while learning English in a period of two years. He's incredible. <laughs> his name is Vicente Gaspar, and I invited him uh, with me here tonight to help us receive this incredible recognition. Hello, <laughs> uh, I'm Vicente Gaspar, I'm from Guatemala, uh, I'm going to share a little bit of my story with you. <laughs> when I got to Jupiter, uh, I didn't know Spanish as well as I supposed to, and I went to El Sol for English class but then they told me that they had a um, Spanish class and I took a basic Spanish class there and I graduated this year, like three months ago. And, and I'm, uh, I'm really happy. I'm really happy to be <laughs> at El Sol when, when I go there. Uh, El Sol is a really helpful place to go to wait for work if, if we don't have a full-time job. And El Sol has education, many, many opportunities, like 
Uh, if we don't go out to work, we have lunch at, at noon, which is good, and we don't have to, we don't have to worry about that. And <laughs> uh, I'm really happy. <laughs> I, I really appreciate everything that Yasol has done for me, especially for everybody who's uh, like undocumented or uh, we don't have like we are legal, so they help us a little, uh, a, a lot. I mean, they they help us like it's like being home to me and. I really appreciate that, and thank you for for this award. I think it's all deserves it. Thank you. We have a a lot of volunteer opportunities, and I see a lot of potential volunteers in this room. So you have an open invitation to come visit us, see our new community garden, and learn. There's a lot of different ways that you can get involved. So thank you so much again.